In this video I will show you how to set up profiles in Alexa for all family members. Also I will demonstrate you the advantages of separated profiles. Hello and welcome to Levin's Review, my name is David and thank you so much for joining us. Before we continue with the video, down in the video I'm going to use the name Alexa a lot. So if Amazon Echo is new to you, then I recommend to press the mute button until the end of the video. When the entire family members work with Alexa, there is a lot of advantages for the family members having their own profile. For example, if I'm asking Alexa to send a message, the message will send for my name. And if Ruth asks Alexa to send a message, the message will send from her name. So how do we set up the profiles? Open the Alexa app. Enter your mail and password of your Amazon account. If you don't have Amazon account, click create a new Amazon account. And after you enter your mail and password, click sign in. For the setup of the first account in the family, click on the account holder. Now you can edit your name to whatever you want and click agree and continue. Now you need to set up your voice ID. This part is very important because it's allowed to Alexa to recognize your voice, call your name and so on. So I recommend you not to skip on this part. Now Alexa will ask you to read some sentences for recognize your voice. Alexa, what is the temperature outside? Alexa, play music. Alexa, turn off the light. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. Ok, we finish. Click on done. Now click on set up my features. Continue. If you want to be able to make phone calls and send messages to Alexa, enter your phone number and then click continue. Enter the OTP number you got from Amazon and then click continue. Click that is everyone and we're done with the first profile. To configure the second profile, open Alexa app in the smartphone of the family member and enter the Amazon account of the first family member. All the family members need to work with the same Amazon account. But now click on the plus button next to I'm someone else. Now enter the name of the family member and click agree and continue. Now the family member need to set up his voice ID. Click on set up my features and repeat the process enter the phone number, but this time of the second family member. And now click that is everyone. And we're done. Now I want to show you why the profiles are so beneficial. The four things that is very important to me is the calendar. When I'm asking Alexa to schedule a meeting, she adding the meeting to my calendar. Alexa, add the event to my calendar today in 2 p.m. Sure, David. And what's the name of the event? Check out the new sport headphones. Let's check out the new sport headphones today at 2 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. Add the meeting to my calendar today in 5 p.m. Sure, David. And what's the name of the event? Consult with my team about the new Govi lights. Let's consult with my team about Inugovi Lights, today at 5 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. And when Ruth asks Alexa to schedule a meeting, she adds into meeting to Ruth's calendar. Alexa, add event to my calendar, today at 2 p.m., publish my video. Ruth, I'll schedule publish my video, today at 2 p.m., okay? Yes. Okay. I've added that. Add the event to my calendar today at 5 p.m. Pick up the food of my cat from the vet. Ruth, let's pick up the food of my cat from the vet today at 5 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, I've added that. Of course, when I'm asking Alexa what is in my calendar, she's going to read me only my meetings. Alexa, what is in my calendar today? David. Today, 
There are two events remaining. At 2 p.m. there's check out the new sport headphones and at 5 p.m. there's consult with my team about a new Govi lights. Also, when we are working in separated profiles, each member has access to their own contacts. For example, when I'm asking Alexa to call mom, Alexa will call to my mom. And when Ruth asks Alexa to call mom, Alexa will call to Ruth's mom. There is no doubt that working in profile is much more comfortable and everyone have access to their own things. I really hope this video was helpful for you. And if you want to learn more about how to use Alexa, I recommend you to check out the playlist Smart Home with Alexa. I'm going to upload more great tutorials to the playlist and you will find link up here or in the description. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it and you find it helpful, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments down below. Like always, I wish you a beautiful day and of course, I will see you in the next video.